Are you like me and you're a huge fan of Faroon Ball colors, but you're maybe not a huge fan of Faroon Ball prices? Well, today I'm gonna take you through some of my favorite Faroon Ball colors and match them in some other paint companies colors, at least fairly closely. I have five awesome paint colors by Faroon Ball and they're close counterparts in both Benjamin Moore and Sherwin Williams paint. It seems like my audience tend to gravitate towards those companies the most. So what I'll do is I'll just give you an example of each company that gives you very close match that will at least replicate the essence of the Faroon Ball color. Something a bit different for this channel, so if you like these sort of color matchy videos, let me know in the description down below and I'll make them more often and I can even do other companies too, not just Faroon Ball. So just a quick disclaimer, the matches that I present to you are not spot on matches, okay? They are pretty close comparisons. It'll take you maybe 80 to 90% of the way versus getting the Faroon Ball color. And this is because the process to manufacture these paints are all gonna be very different from company to company. And if you have any experience with Faroon Ball paint, you'll know that a lot of their cans come pre-mixed. You don't even get them tinted most of the time. But anyway, let's get into this. So the first color that I wanna go through is Cornforth White. And this is not so much a white as it is an off-white or even a light sort of soft gray. I think it's a great color because of the fact that it has that gray element, has a little bit of warmth to prevent it from feeling too cool, but doesn't necessarily feel like a grayish to me. It's just kind of a mellowed out, slightly warm gray that I think works in a lot of situations and circumstances. Extremely popular color as well. I wanted to start with the Sherwin-Williams side, which is maybe the poorer of the two matches for me. It is agreeable gray. Now, even though the match isn't spot on, the color is awesome. Agreeable Gray is an extremely popular paint color. It is very versatile, like one of the most versatile interior colors especially because it has that duality of being a bit gray leaning but still warm. So it has a foot in each door, I would say. But it does, to me, feel a little bit more brown leaning than Cornforth White. My Benjamin Moore counterpart would be a color like Nimbus, which is a little more gray leaning for sure, but they still kind of accomplish the same thing. I think somewhere in between those two colors you find Cornforth White, at least you have those options. If you are in the Sherwin-Williams camp or the Benjamin Moore side of things, you have something that can kind of give you that Cornforth White sort of look. Now, of course, you could roll the dice and just get a custom match done, and I have done a ton of them in my career, but you'll never really get a 100% match. You might come pretty close, depending on how good your matcher is, but at least if you have a chip of Nimbus or a chip of Agreeable Gray, that's at least the color you'll end up buying. I think that's a little more of a reliable way to go about things. All right, the next color is Pigeon, which is a really awesome color. You would think this would be more gray leaning, but it actually feels more green centric, which is really nice. And and it has this cool blue undertone that really makes it nice and chill, I guess you could say. But there's also a decent amount of richness and depth that I think is really lovely as well. Some gray seems to be mixed in to tone it down slightly too. So that's a good thing if you're not necessarily super keen on going with the most vibrant, bright colors out there, but you still want some hue to come through. Pigeon's an awesome choice and it's one that I recommend a lot in the Faroon Ball space. But if you're not working with Faroon Ball, my Sherwin-Williams counterpart would be something maybe like Rushing River. Not a crazy good match. It nails that muted gray green aspect of it, but the coolness doesn't really come through as much. It's not as blue dominant, but still within that same sort of genre, I would say. The Benjamin Moore match is better for me. It is oil cloth. And this is part of their CSP line, the Color Stories palette, which essentially were designed to work with Aura paint specifically. They're really great because they have a ton of depth of color. Like there's so many colorants that go into each one of these CSP colors, kind of like Faroon Ball. Just a lot of richness. Definitely of the two, I love oil cloth a lot more as a match, but Rushing River can still serve the same purpose. Just a muted, dark, cool leaning green, not so much a blue leaning green though. Okay, next up, the Ferron Ball color I wanna talk about is Railings. This is a classic off black paint color by Ferro and Ball. And it does have a little bit of a cool undertone, which is more prominent when you use it in things like north facing rooms or even outside when you have the sun sort of beating on it. My favorite cool leaning blacks that are very similar to Railings, you have Benjamin Moore's Black Horizon, which is a pretty, pretty solid match I would say, but an eight LRV 
so very dark, doesn't reflect a lot of light whatsoever, like black paints tend to do. But I think the Sherwin-Williams match is better in this case. It's called Cyberspace. This is a former color of the month, not quite a color of the year. A very sleek, classy charcoal black that is just awesome. A little bit darker than the Benjamin Moore alternative as well with a six LRV. More deep, more rich. And I think it just matches railings nearly perfectly, but if you had them side by side, you might notice some slight deviations. In the grand scheme of things, they're gonna be very, very similar. All right, sticking with the darker colors, we got Hag Blue. Probably the most popular blue in the Pharaoh Ball line. One of the most legendary navies that exist in paint, I would say. I think what's cool about it is the fact that it has so much richness to it as a blue, and the blue is pretty forward. It doesn't feel obnoxious. It has just a bit of that shading, that dark gray aspect to help settle it down a little bit, which makes it awesome to work with neutral paint colors. So if you have a lot of neutral sort of muted tones in your space, this color will stand out without really just pulling too too much focus for all the wrong reasons. So that's why I think it's so successful as a paint color. So my Benjamin Moore match, I would say would be brush blue from the Williamsburg collection. It is a color that was, I guess, conceived to be used as an exterior color, but I think it's pretty close to hag blue. Brush blue just has a touch of that warmer undertone happening, a little bit of that yellow to sort of pull it into the green direction very, very slightly. For all intents and purposes, I do think it's a close match. Not as close as the Sherwin Williams alternative, which is sea serpent. So this is, a dark, bold, navy. They call it a navy neutral, which is actually an interesting way of describing it. Uh, I think it's a navy that works really well with neutrals. So that's another way of looking at it. But awesome choice. If you like Hag Blue, if you love those Pinterest pictures of it, you can get it or at least get close to it with a color like Sea Serpent from Sherwin-Williams. And then finally, my fifth color that I want to talk about is one that I really love from Pharaoh and Ball. It doesn't get enough rays because maybe people are afraid of pink or anything pink leaning or mauve. It's called sulking room pink. This is a beautiful color as just one of those choices you can use in secondary parts of your home to just have something different. A gray or a beige or a grayish or even a greenish. Go in the red direction, a sort of red leaning lighter brown, which is kind of what this color is. The Sherwin-Williams alternative I found is called Velvety Chestnut. And I would say this color does feel more like a light brown, but it just has a red undertone that sort of pulls it a little bit towards that pinky side of things, but not as much is sulking room pink. Perhaps this color will be easier to implement because it just feels a little more neutral, I would say. But still, that red undertone is there. And then going in the opposite direction a little bit with the Benjamin Moore choice, this one has more of that pink, maybe even more than the Pharaoh and Ball a little bit. But the red sort of purpley undertone of Barberry makes it extremely fun to me. This is a color that I think would look awesome as just one of those mellow accent colors where you don't necessarily want to go with something too dark or too polarized but you want something just outside of the box a little bit. I think a color like Barberry would be really, really fun. You just gotta be okay with pink, which clearly I don't mind it. I think it's fun. Those are some Pharaoh and Ball color matches. If you want other colors for me to look at, let me know in the comment section below or even a different paint company that you're really dying to get matched, let me know. And also be sure to check out this video right now.